Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. And today we will be focusing on the seven banknotes series, Yugoslavia. Yes, today I am going to talk about the 1968 till 1981 issued Yugoslavian dinar, which was arguably at this time where the dinar's exchange rate was most stable, with little inflation. Of course, up till 1985, I think, with the issue of the 5,000 dinar note, of which I possess, but will not be showing today, because the theme revolves around this sameness of design, which is prevalent from the 5 to 1,000 dinar note in this series I shall be exploring. Now, bear in mind that the notes that I possess currently do not have the same dates. Some of them will vary from 1968 until 1981. Yep. So the first note I'm going to show you is a five dinar note. Now the color is green. And as we can see here, this is a female farm worker holding a sickle. The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Five dinars. At the back here, we see a number five surrounded by a large circle with a motif of people surrounding it. Now, what I think is most creative about it is that motif of people, which is actually existing in the other banknotes that I'm going to show you today. I think what Yugoslavia was trying to do to its currency was to emphasize unity. Well, of course, we all knew what that, how that turned out. Not too well, not too well. Do admire the efforts of Joseph Cross Tito and his efforts. When he died, Yugoslavia, you could say, collapsed. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about the banknotes. And moving on, 10 dinar note from Yugoslavia. Now, this is brown in color and features a male steel worker. Now, I forgot to mention the date of its issue. This one is issued in Belgrade, 1981. The green dinar note, which is the five dinar note, is issued in 1968. Yep. So here we see a male steel worker. Now, he's actually quite famous as a legend, I think, in Yugoslavia. His portrait was featured here, I believe. But, not too sure. Some say it's a myth. At the back, same motive, only brown in color with a large 10. With six different languages here, emphasizing on the six republics of Yugoslavia. Moving on, we reach the 20 dinara note. Now this one, now I'll just showcase this note first. Now it's purple in color and has a ship on it, a motif of a ship. Very creative, very nice, focusing on the shipping industry Yugoslavia had. Now this note is issued in 1974, which effectively makes it the 1974 issue. Here, we see on the observe a motive of a ship, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, and at the back, the same motive, only purple, with the 20 in the middle there, and the six texts representing the six different languages used by the six different republics of Yugoslavia. Now, I will not repeat this anymore further on because the notes are pretty much the same, only with different motives, different colors, different sizes, and different numbers, effectively speaking. But the theme and the design is very constant. The next note I will be showcasing is a 50 dinar note. Yes. Now, if you see on the reserve, it is a relief from Mistrovic's work. Yes. And this one's issued in 1968, so this effectively makes it the 1968 to 70 issue of the Din Yugoslav dinar. So it's blue in color. Socialist Federalist Republic of Yugoslavia, 50 dinar. And at the back, the same motif. I shouldn't have to explain this because it is quite similar. Then again, one, uh, just one last time, the six texts representing the six republics of Yugoslavia, the 50 dinar, and the, mo the round motif with the people surrounding the 50. Very nice note. But that's not my favorite note from the Yugoslav dinar. Moving on, we reached the 100 dinar note. Now, this 100 dinar note 
like the previous 50 dinar note, has a security strip. You can't see it, of course, because I didn't bring a light down. Oh, there we are. Yes, that's the security magnetic strip there. Now, here on the observe, we actually see an Ecclesterian statue of peace in the Garden of the United Nations building in New York. And that's the statue in question right there. Now, it is red colored and features the same text as constant, except it is a hungry denara this time. Again, same motive, except it's one big 100. Now, moving on, it's the second last note. Now, I should bear in mind that note was issued in 1981, the red note. Now, this is the 500 dinar note. This is actually Nikola Tesla, because, well, as you know, Nikola Tesla originated from Serbia. So, it was kind of a way to respect and honor Nikola Tesla. Now, here we have the security strip, which is existent over here. Just over here, yep. That's where the magnetic strip is. Now, it has the same text. This is sort of a grayish green color with the fine written our node, but all the text remains constant, the same. And if you notice, the theme is relatively the same, which is shown through the sameness of the text and the fonts used, the borders used, where the portraits of the reliefs or what is depicted is usually shown at the same place. So you know it's a constant theme. At the back, it's pretty much the same thing, except you have a big 500 in the middle of the circle there, sort of by a motive of people, and again the six texts responding to the six republics of Yugoslavia. Now, I should note that I find the Nicholas Tesla note interesting, and it's actually my I think, fifth favorite note, because it's got Nicholas Tesla in it. And Nicholas Tesla, I highly respect for his vision to bring free electricity to the people. That's what I respect. And it makes sense that Yugoslavia include his portrait into its own banknotes. After all, he's from Serbia, one of the republics of Yugoslavia, so it makes sense. And this is the last note. This is my favorite note as far. It's my third favorite note. My 1,000 dinar note. As we can see here, this is actually a relief of a farm woman holding a harvest of fruits and vegetables. And behind her is some agricultural equipment, a wheat harvester. There's the security, the magnetic strip over here. It's over here, right? It's a paper note. Then again, same thing, 1,000 dinara. Same text as for previous notes. And at the back, same motive with the people surrounding the 1,000. But do you want to know why it's my favorite note? It's because, although this note is kind of this bluish gray, it it's sort of nice in the sense that it's got, well, food on it, agricultural equipment, a reed field, and at the back, a mountain, a mountainous valley with trees in it and some surrounding tiny houses which you cannot see in fine detail. And I think that's what I really like about this note. It's it's just nice. <laughs> then again, I shall show you this one more time. To look closely, this is what I mean. It's just this image here up there. Well, that is all that I am going to show today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've learned something from these banknote series on Yugoslavia. Tune in next time. We will have something new. Thank you, and good night.